All right, so how's everybody doing today? Um, so this video is because I get a lot of emails of individuals requesting for me to port their saws for them. So I'm probably getting 20 a day, maybe. You can imagine the kind of workload that would be. So we're going to take a different approach here. I'm going to work at showing you how to do some porting. So I'm thinking if we all had the same saw and we all work through it together, I could kind of show you what to do and Basically, I can show you some of the decision-making process. Now, for us all to work on the same saw, well, let me put it this way. You, you need practice before you get into your everyday use saw. So most of you guys are probably using Huskies and steel. Well, I'm not gonna ask everybody to go out there and buy a Husky or a steel spend hundreds of dollars. So I'm going to send you after one of the cheapest saws we could find or that I can find. And it actually happens to be one that I'm extremely familiar with. Um, so we're going to go after home lights. So if you're interested in doing this process with me, you need to locate yourself a home light super XL automatic. Um, you can get on Marketplace, Craigslist, or whatever. You can usually find them for a hundred bucks or less. I've seen them. I bought them as low as thirty bucks. So find yourself a saw. This is going to give you practice before you get in to your everyday use saw. All right. So I'm going to give you some time to locate some saws. Now, there are some key features that you're going to be looking for. Number one, don't get one that has points ignition. Get, get one that has a uh, electronic ignition. That way, if we run into a problem, we're all having the same problem. We can all deal with it together. Now, the next thing you got to do is make sure the saw has a good piston and cylinder. If it does not have a good piston and cylinder, you gotta be prepared to purchase one. Um, and this is where you wanna be careful whenever you purchase your saw because a new piston and cylinder could cost you another $120, $130. So if you can find a $50 saw with a good piston and cylinder, and electronic ignition, you're golden. Don't worry about whether or not it runs. You need to worry about those main points. Um, another thing you need to worry about is making sure the saw is complete. You don't want it to be missing parts. Okay? You need to find one that's complete. Now, if you're wondering about the piston and cylinder, I'll show you right now. Because I'm going to have to deal with it. All right, now let me show you inside this cylinder. Okay, you see in there? You see how the lines go straight this way? That is scoring. We cannot have that. So whenever you look for a saw, you want it to be nice and smooth in there. If you find one that has scoring, be prepared to replace the piston and cylinder. I will have to do it with my saw. If you can find a used setup, good. Um, but otherwise, we are looking at a brand new set. So like I said, be prepared. Um, try to find one that, uh, that has a good piston and cylinder. Because if you can find that, the rest of the parts that needed 
to build this saw are relatively cheap. Uh, you're talking a fuel line, rebuild kit for the carburetor, some seals. I mean, it's, it's this is inexpensive stuff. All right. So get yourself one of these saws. It especially try to find one with a good piston cylinder. It'll be relatively cheap and it's something we can work on together and I can show you piece by piece how, how to do this. It's always better to practice on something cheap than it is one of your more expensive saws. Um, this, this is one of the reasons I'm going to show you the process. Step by step. And we're going to do it on one of these cheap saws that you can find anywhere. Okay. Now these home lights that I'm going to show you, these are a reed saw. So the intake is not going to be as focused as what you're going to need to worry about with a piston ported saw. But this is going to show you your transfers and your exhaust timing. The reeds handle the intake timing for you. So there's not much, you know, you don't, you don't really have much to worry about there except making sure your reeds are functioning properly. Now you will need a grinder. This is my grinder right here. There's many different types. This is the setup I'm using. It's a flex line. A simple Dremel will do the job. Um, here's a set of cheap bits. You can get on, e on eBay for, I think, 13 bucks shipped to your house. Uh, just prepare because they dull really fast. That's why they're cheap. You know, a good set of bits is could be 200 bucks or so. But these cheap ones at 10 bucks a piece, how many of these could you go through, you know? I just buy these cheap ones. Um, if you need any to be any more specific, they need to be eighth inch shaft for a typical Dremel. Uh, some of these will actually handle a quarter inch shaft. And uh, if you really get into porting work, you're going to have both versions. Or you might end up with just one that has the quarter inch shaft. The quarter inch shaft, the nice thing about it is you can get the bits like six inches long. That's where your advantage comes in with quarter inch shaft. But the eighth inch shaft is all you really need to do one of these saws. So that's going to be one of the tools that you're probably going to need to worry about getting in order to work on this project. So if you're interested in learning, we'll go through the steps and do one of these home lights together. Now, any questions? You can email me or even post in a comment or something. Um, I will help answer your questions as best I can. Uh, now, I'm going to be posting other videos as well because we're going to work through this slowly. Uh, I'm going to have to gather up parts myself, you know. But we, So you're going to see some other videos. So all of these videos are going to say porting porting school or porting class will say something like that and I'll just put a number in there somewhere like number one number two number three so you'll be able to follow you'll be able to go back and catch up later um, I'll have it all in a playlist so you can just pull up the playlist later so if this is you know a year from now and somebody wants to go through and watch them all they can the videos will be there available for anyone In the meantime, I'm going to give you some time to go get one of these saws. Then while we're waiting for that, I'm going to go ahead and port another saw. So I'm going to port a saw and then we'll get into this project. I will give you a list of parts that you need to focus on getting um, in order to finish the project. I will give you the full list. I'll give you the part numbers and everything you need to find. But while we're waiting for that project to start,
you can watch me port this home light. This X Super XL 130. This is gonna this is a little bit hotter saw. So in the meantime, until that starts, you can watch these. But work at getting yourself a saw, and we'll go through it step by step. And who knows, maybe we'll have 20 of us doing this together. Almost like a YouTube classroom. All of us working together, questions going back and forth. Okay. I think it I think I think it uh might help people learn a little something. You know what I mean? Uh, I'll try to post a video a week whenever we get into that project. Uh, it might take a little longer, depending on the questions that need answered. Uh, you might see me posting videos answering questions. So just pay attention because every video will say something like porting class or porting school or something. So just pay attention to those numbers. And as the questions come up, if I create a video to answer the question, it'll just get numbered right in there. That way everybody can learn from the question. All right. But make sure you subscribe. Thumbs up the videos. You know, the thumbs up is how YouTube shares the video. That's, that's how that works. Uh, you can share the video yourself too. And then there's a little alarm bell there. If you hit that alarm bell, YouTube will send you an alert every time I post a video. So just do me that little favor. Make sure you subscribe. Thumbs it up. Hit the alarm bell. And you'll be able to watch everything as I post them. All right. So those of you who have been helping the channel... Thanks. It helps a lot. Um, and those of you who have not subscribed yet, please do. Uh, it helps. But I want to thank everybody for coming along for the journey. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right? Thanks. Later.